hey guys so this is my october 2023 budget reset video so today's video i am going to share with you my plans for the month of october uh when it comes to my money i have my trusted laptop here on the left where i will be sharing you my budget tracker that i use to help me plan out how i want to spend my money then i have my trusted uh planners and diaries here that i also use to help me plan out how i would like to allocate my money and then my trusted notebook here where i just write down everything i track all of my expenses meticulously sometimes i do it daily sometimes i do it just weekly but definitely track every day i do look at my finances but in terms of like proper tracking i try to do that at least once a week on a sunday to see what credit cards do i need to clear up what debts do i want to uh, pay extra towards um is there additional money that i can send towards my financial goals all of that i try to do that every week uh, but then i do have videos like this one where i actually share with you my thought process and my plans for the month ahead so today is thursday 21st so you'll be seeing this video today this is my plan i'm filming at lunchtime right now so i'm just going to quickly go through this video share with you my plans and then straight down start editing and hopefully i'll have it before 7 p.m tonight uk time so without further ado let us begin with today's video and for today's video i actually want to start off with my financial goals though i don't often mention them in my budget reset videos i figured they are financial goals and it is a budget video so I might as well just include them in this video so what I want to do is talk about the goals that I'd set in the month of September at the end of August for the month of September and how I'm doing with those so I have written them in three places actually all the three planners I've showed you I have written them in there because for this legend planner that I use I just got this from Amazon I I try to come and look at this more on a monthly basis when I am coming to do such videos or when I want to change my plans and stuff like that. Then this is my weekly planner. So I have this on me all the time. And this acts almost like my daily planner kind of situation where I'm tracking um, where my money is going and stuff like that. So the first goal that I had set was to send at least £1,000 towards my emergency fund. I really, really thought I wasn't going to make this because it was such a stretch goal because my budget already was fully stretched with having bought another rental property. So I didn't think I was going to do this, but I was like, you have a goal that you would like to meet. So let us try. And yes, I've moved some things around and I've been able to send that towards my emergency fund. The second one was to pay at least £700 towards my personal loan. I did do that. I took out a 25 k personal loan a couple of months ago to help me with my home renovations, which I have done. So now I'm paying around 650 every single month and I try to do an additional payment of at least like £50 every single month to round it off to like 700 so I was able to do that. The third one was for me to make at least 200 for my side hustles. So this is my blog at julydreamer.com as well as my Etsy, Budget with a July Dreamer. And I can confidently say that I've been able to do that mostly from my blog, which has been great. The fourth goal, fourth financial goal that I had was to pay an extra £24 towards my mobile handset. I've spoken about this many a time on this channel that I do have a mobile mobile handset that I got from my line rental provider before they used to have it as one bill but now they have split them and since they've split them I'm taking this as an opportunity to clear off this balance quickly so I made an extra 24 pounds on top of the 29 pounds that I made so that was that which was absolutely great and I kind of 
try to break these very four goals there into smaller goals and looking through my my weekly planner i actually had everything every single financial goal i had planned so far in the month of september has been based off the main goals that i had set the four main financial goals so we did well i did really well <laughs> <laughs> for the month of September and I'm really happy I can't believe that we only have the one week left before the month ends next week Saturday is the last day of the month and next week Sunday you know we start a whole new month so I'm very happy with the progress that I have made and I cannot wait to share with you guys my net worth update and all my plans for the last three months of the year so that's it on the segment for um, my financial goals I do have um, financial goals for the month of October and I have written them down here so I'm going to share them with you as well so first one is I would like to send 500 pounds towards my rental emergency fund so I had to actually empty this because of buying another property and all property costs and all of that good jazz so I want to start uh, refunding that I want to also pay extra 25 pounds ish so 24 pounds 58 towards my um my personal loan so um normally i say to bring it up to 700 pounds but i know my funds for october will be stretched so for now i'm just trying to tell myself to send at least 25 pounds then um three is a private one so i'm not going to share that the fourth one is to pay 22 pounds extra towards my mobile device and the fifth one is i do have a weekend trip abroad with a group of friends and i've just written here to cash flow that normally i'll use the savings that i have for travel but for this trip i plan to cash flow because i was going to use the money i saved but i used it in the september trip so we're gonna cash flow that so those are the four goals that i'm going to focus on um in the month of set october uh, but obviously for me person there's five but i'm only sharing four with you guys so that is that when it comes to the financial goals that i have so we're gonna put the planners to one side and now i'm going to move over to this side to start focusing on my um my financial goals my, my budget sorry my budget so just gonna turn this a little bit this side and I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more right okay so I'm going to start the screen record now and I'm just going to walk you through my tracker again this tracker you can see on the screen you can purchase from my Etsy shop it's always linked in the description bar below so for the month of October um, as you can see I've changed the color scheme for this one I'm excited about that and I've kind of blanked out my income summary so all of my sources and how much I'm um, expecting from each of those so said I've blanked that out but I do share with you that I'm expecting around 6,300. So let us see how I intend to spend this money. So just uh, one sec, so I see if this is in frame. And it is, so we're just gonna move it a little bit more like so. Okay, so if I start off with the main bills, so with my main bills, there isn't a lot of change here. There is some, which is in red. I'm going to talk about that. But the rest of the bills are pretty much the same. But I have re-added in a peloton. So I have decided in the month of September that I actually would like to start restart my peloton um again i do have a peloton bike so let me just see if i can move my thing around so you can see my peloton bike there so it's kind of in my living room in the corner so i am planning to restart so i renewed the membership um yesterday and they take out the first payment today and it's still around 39 pounds which is pretty good um it's the same as the gym membership that I had, but I canceled that. So I'm replacing it back with Peloton. And yes, so let's see if I can get back into cycling again. The other thing that I'm adding here is YouTube Premium. Now, I got two months free with my um, line rental provider, so Vodafone. 
and I actually love it. I love it for my main channel, the, you know, to use it there when I'm watching other people's videos. I don't have ads and stuff like that, but I have two other channels that I use to watch stuff that I want to watch. But those ones, I still very much like having ads on them. I don't know what it is, but for me personally, having ads is, it's like, it reminds you of when you were kids and you kind of like, you got a toilet break of some sort, you know, like, if there's a break, you can go. I know kids of business will never understand because they're like, oh, you just pause the TV. Mm, it wasn't the same. There was that excitement of knowing that you only had 60 seconds to do everything. Go to the toilet, get the water, get the food, all of that. That was part of the excitement for me, at least growing up. But now it's like, oh, just put it on pause. I don't know. It just doesn't feel the same. But in any case, for my main YouTube channel, which you're watching this video on, I am paying for YouTube Premium. I've had two months free and from October onwards, I'll be paying 13 pounds. So that is that for my main bills. So I'm expecting to spend at least 1,625 on my main bills. If I move over now to my rental bills, Ooh. I am okay with my rental bills. That little sigh and deep breath was because i just had a coffin fit which you won't see because i'll edit it out but when it comes to my rental bills again there isn't much of a change here except i should um this one for my third rental property uh i have added this in as well as um landlord care as well so that's the only thing that i think is different from what you've seen in past videos starting with um the september one but yeah so i'm expecting to spend just over 1800 on my rental bills it always amazes me when i look at how much i'm spending like on my rental properties and it seems i'm spending a lot more on my rental properties than i am um, on my own home which i don't mind but I would like these numbers to reduce if possible. But with my rental properties, they're self-funding because the rent that I get from them is enough to pay each property's rent is enough to pay for each property's mortgage and other costs associated with that. So I'm grateful for that. Um, so yeah. Then if I move over to expenses summary and i don't know why i never just call this what it is because this is variable expenses so when it comes to my variable expenses i have tithe i'm giving i'm a christian i believe in giving so i try to tithe as much as i possibly can my groceries you will notice that this one has gone down normally it's about 200 pounds but i'm bringing this down and i explain why in a second my subscription you see that for the month of october is quite high because i have a lot of app subscriptions that are due in the month of october these are subscriptions that i definitely intend on keeping for as long as i need them because i use them almost every day um so that um so for socializing fuel dining out travel shopping transportation housing this is all the same as I normally budget them. Uh, personal care, personal growth, um, it's okay. Coffee, I've increased it from 25 to 35. And when I do my September budget, you see why. And then the reason why I have gone ahead and reduced my food budget is because I've decided to start getting a Gusto food box. I used to get this um, 2021, 2022, then came 2023, I kind of just cancelled it out, but it's about £30 a month because I'm going to be getting just one box a month, so that'll be £30 for me, so I should say for us, um, so yeah, um, so £30 for the Gusto box, but essentially we'll do £200 for our groceries, but for now, we're just reducing that to 170 and then 30 to the Gusto box. And the Gusto box that we get is for like a couple, so that works out for us. Um, miscellaneous gifts. This time I'm actually budgeting something for gifts. My dad's birthday is in October, so maybe I'll get him something. But normally I don't budget anything with gifts and I just spend according to how my heart is feeling. Then business. Um, 
nothing and then home renovations i actually don't have any home renovations so i'm gonna remove this because it's not really relevant um at least not for october um i don't know when i'll restart my home renovations but for now i don't really need it but i'm expecting to send at least 1217 pounds towards my variable expenses so yeah that's quite a bit still less than my rental properties and still less than my main spending but there we have it and then if i move over further a little bit further to the right and bring you two words savings and investments so this one is about the same except this time it's a little bit lower i tried to set at least 500 pounds towards my savings and my investments and normally you would have seen me send at least a thousand a thousand five hundred but now that i have debt that thousand is now going to paying off the debts that i have so the personal loan i'm still saying 700 pounds even though my my goal there just said i'll send an extra 25 but i'm still trying to aim for the same one amount that i aim for every single month so we shall see how that works i do have the additional loan that i took out to purchase my second my third rental property so that's 350 i think but if something happens with the interest rate they might increase this um my mobile device so this 50 pounds includes the actual amount that i need to pay plus the additional um amount that i need to pay then here you notice something curious and new and this is credit card because for the first time in oh my gosh i don't know how many months but for the first time ever i am carrying a balance on one of my credit cards and obviously they're going to charge me interest for that and yeah so it's in there so i'm trying to send at least 80 pounds to that credit card it won't clear it per se but i i am planning i'm gonna play around with my money again in october and see if i can just clear the balance instead of carrying it forward but for now we're we're leaving credit card in there because i do want to be very transparent with you guys i don't ever carry a balance on my credit card but i did uh this month september so that means in october i do have to make payments so there i am sharing with you guys exactly that so this is my plan this is how i am planning to spend my money in the month of october like i said it's my dad's birthday don't know if we're doing anything for his birthday i'm supporting my mom with some shows uh, like i did in august and meeting up with friends traveling abroad um so there's kind of like it's gonna be another busy month but i'll talk more about that in my upcoming monthly reset video because as some of you know i split my budget with uh, from my monthly reset so that just focuses like on my life and then this just focuses just on my money so yeah i think that is it i don't think there's anything else i would like to add i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye